Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make chicken livers. Chicken livers, Gina Young style. Hey, listen here, I grew up, I grew up on chicken livers. My dad would make some of the best chicken livers. And as a kid, I loved them. Normally kids don't like them, but here's the thing. If you make them right, they will love them. I'm gonna show you how to make these chicken livers, Gina Young style, and no matter who you feed these chicken livers to, they're gonna go crazy over them. Okay, everyone, here are the ingredients that you will need. You will need chicken livers. Here's what they look like. I have cleaned my chicken livers off with cold water and sea salt, okay? You will need sliced white onion, you will need some tomato. Tomato is optional, but me personally, I love it with tomatoes in there. You will need some flour. In the pan in the back, I have some jasmine rice that we're gonna have on the side. You will need cracked black pepper, as well as adobo, parsley flakes, cornstarch for thickening the sauce, and you will need some Maggie beef the reason why I'm gonna use the beef is because the beef is brown. Okay, let me show you. See that there? You can use the Maggie Pollo if you want for your uh, gravy, with just the chicken flavor. It's really up to your discretion. I might even use the chicken, okay? It really depends on how you feel. So you have the option of using the chicken flavor. You are making chicken livers, okay? or you can use the beef. It's really up to your discretion. So, go ahead and make your rice ahead of time like I did. Come over here to our beautiful pan that we're gonna use. You wanna turn this pan onto a medium high heat, and then we're gonna go in with some olive oil. We're gonna put enough olive oil in here so that we can fry our chicken livers up. We're gonna turn this on to a medium-high heat, and that's the temperature that we're gonna cook these on. Okay? Now, let's come over this way to your chicken lovers. I'm getting a little bit of sunlight. Hopefully, I have a good picture there so you all can see well. If you don't wanna use adobo, you can actually use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. I'm gonna use adobo. Adobo does have salt, garlic, oregano, black pepper, and turmeric in it. Absolutely, it's, it's a really great seasoning and it tastes beautiful with liver and chicken livers. Okay, so we wanna season those up just like this. Even though this has black pepper in the adobo, I like to put a little bit more, okay? just like this and then we're going to take these chicken livers and I want to dredge them lightly in the flour and when you dredge when you dredge your chicken livers you will get somewhat of a beautiful golden brown crust onto your chicken livers that I absolutely love Okay, now here's the thing. If you didn't want to use the flour, that's fine as well. You would just proceed with the rest of the recipe the same way, just take out the flour. You don't have to use the flour. You can fry them just like this, all right? I'm gonna do a little bit more adobo, just a little bit, okay? Now, let me show you how we need to dredge these. Bring my flour in the equation. I think I'm going to close one of my kitchen curtains so that you all can see a little bit better without the glare. Okay, so now we're going to go in with our seasoned chicken lovers. And you want to take them just like so. You wanna dredge them in this manner. Just like that, that's what you call dredged. All right, 
We're gonna do each one. They, they're all different sizes. If you wanted to be a stickler and cut each one the same size, absolutely you can, okay? It's up to you. But me personally, I like to leave them the size that they are. Now, when you open up your container of chicken livers, some of them might have gristle, or not gristle, um, some of them might have fat. You definitely want to take some kitchen shears or a knife and cut that fat off, okay? You don't want to digest that. So I had to do that as I was cleaning my livers because there was several pieces of fat that I needed to cut out. All right, this is dredging them. We're gonna do this. I hope that you all are having a great day today, a great work week. What is your weather like where you're at? Today it's here, it's about 83 degrees and I am absolutely loving this heat. Uh, yes, I am. I need to move somewhere where the, water, where the beach is nearby. The clear water. <laughs> All right, we're almost done. Okay, just like this. All right. This, this right here is one full container of chicken livers. Okay, that's how you dredge them. Now, before we put them in the oil, <clears throat> before we put our chicken livers in the oil, you're gonna want to Heat your oil up because you don't want to put these in a cold pan. That oil has to be nice and hot before you start frying them. And you want to give them a shake. Like you want to take one just like this and shake that excess flour off. Just like that. All right. Okay, our pan is nice and heated up. Let's go ahead start adding your chicken livers to the pan. Okay, everyone, we have our chicken livers going, and when you put your chicken livers in, you should start, you should hear a sizzle. If you don't hear a sizzle when you put that first liver in, that's letting you know that the oil's not hot enough, don't put any more in until your oil heats all the way up. Everything should be nice and bubbly and sizzling. That's gonna help us to achieve that beautiful golden brown crust that we all love. Now, while these cook, let's come over here to our beautiful tomatoes. I've washed my tomatoes ahead of time. What I need to do is I wanna go in and I wanna slice some of these. Now, I just happen to love tomatoes. I love cooked tomatoes and that's why I'm putting the tomatoes in. If you don't want to use tomatoes in yours, you don't have to, okay? And it'll be just fine. It will taste absolutely delicious without it. But if you're a fan of tomatoes, cooked tomatoes, go ahead and put you some in there. It makes it nice and beautiful. And you get the health benefits from the tomato. See that there? I'm gonna put this much in here. And that's about it. They're so beautiful. Anytime I get a chance to use fresh vegetables, absolutely I will. Medium high heat is what your liver should be on. All right? And I'm not gonna mess with them. Naturally, you're gonna want to go in with a fork or a spatula to look at the bottom, but you don't have to worry about it, okay? And the reason why is because you'll start to see a golden brown crust around the bottom and that will always, always indicate that it's time to turn your livers. I'm drinking some, I'm drinking some ice water. In the bottom of my ice water, I have some slivers of fresh ginger. Ginger is really healthy for you. And when I drink ice water, that has fresh sliced ginger, and I'll use that piece of ginger all day for my ice water. So when I'm done with that cup, I'll pour myself another cup and keep that same ginger. I honestly, when I drink ginger water, I feel better. I really do. And I know that ginger has a lot of health benefits. Okay, I'm starting to see some golden brown, but I'm not ready to turn it just yet. Once everything gets nice and golden brown, I'll come back. 
I'm going to let you know the perfect time to put your tomatoes and onions in. I'm going to show you how to make a really quick and simple, beautiful gravy for these bad boys. Okay, everybody, let's take a peek in at our beautiful liver. I'm starting to see that golden brown color towards the bottom that I was telling you about. So let's get to flipping. And you see, I didn't use, a, you don't need a lot of oil, okay? Just a little bit of oil will go a long way. All right, and this same oil that's in this pan is what we're gonna use to start our gravy. And we don't need to make a whole lot of gravy because we don't have, you know, like a abundance of livers here. Beautiful. If you turn one over, like I just turned that one over and it's not done, it's okay. We'll get back to it. We'll just flip it back over, okay? My goodness. Ooh I'm going to show you all how to make some good cooking. You hear me? If you all stick with me, I'm going to have you cooking everything for your family. Ooh-wee. So earlier, today I put a video out for stuffed shells. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. It's an awesome video. It's an awesome recipe. And it's very simple. That's what I love about it. Okay, so these are nice and turned over. I'm going to wipe my stove down. Got a little bit of popping of the grease. Just like this. Beautiful. And these livers, boy, do they smell good. It smells like I'm frying up some chicken in this kitchen. You hear me? Woo, it smells good. My goodness. Okay, everybody, let me show you what our livers are looking like. Bring it close so you all can see. Now, just because they're nice and golden brown doesn't mean that they're done, okay? These are thick, and you want to cook them long enough so that they're not still pink in the inside. All right, so we're going to let them go for a little while. Just keeping a nice eye on them. And if you need to flip them over again, absolutely you can. Okay, like this one here. I'm going to flip it back over because when I flipped it the first time, it wasn't really ready to be flipped. Okay? Just like this. They're turning out just nice and beautiful. Getting that beautiful golden brown crispy edges that we want. Some of them that are on the outside, I'm going to bring them in so that they can get nice and golden brown as well. This is a big pan. There we go, just like so. Okay, everybody, now what I'm going to start doing is the livers that are done, and I'm for sure that they're done. I'm going to take them out, see that one? And I'm going to put it on a plate, okay? Because I don't want to overcook these. The last thing that you want to do is overcook chicken livers, okay? So when you know that they're done for sure, you take them out and set them on a plate. That way it doesn't get overcooked. The ones that are not done, we're just going to keep them in here until they get done. All right? And then when I make our gravy, we'll have this pan with the drippings and the oil. Okay? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I, can't, I cannot wait. I can't wait to sink my... I don't know when's the last time I made chicken liver. But I tell you one thing, we're going to make them tonight. Yes, we are. My goodness. Mm -hmm. If you all's mouth watering, <laughs> let me know in the comment section below. Because <laughs> my mouth is watering. I'm right here with it. Mm. And it's the smell is amazing. It really does. It smells like you're frying chicken. Mm. Let me show you the ones that are done. These are what the ones that looks like that are done. That's what they look like. Now, there's a lot of people that say, uh-uh, mm-mm, I'm not eating any chicken livers. But here's the thing. If you, and a lot of those people, they haven't tried it. So there are some people out there that even if they haven't tried it, they'll say, nope, uh-uh, I don't eat them or I don't like them. But the thing is, you have to give it a try. You know, you have to give it a try and you have to taste it the right way. 
in order to be able to say, okay, I definitely don't like it. But if you've had it in the past and they haven't cooked it for you the right way, hey, you never know. You just might like it. You just might like it if somebody makes it the right way for you. And really, it's the truth. So don't knock it until you try it, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. My goodness. Mm, beautiful. And here's the thing. This meal doesn't take hardly any time to cook. You're in and out of the kitchen in no time, and your dinner is on the table. You can make your rice ahead of time like I did. And that part's already done. I tell you what, that water is amazing. This one's done. And this one. Well, that one's not quite. My goodness. Okay, everybody, now what we're going to do, we're going to put our onions in to the leftover oil. All right, and we're just going to cook the onions just for a little bit because I still want for my onions to have some bite to them, okay? We're gonna cook them not too long, probably five minutes before we make our gravy, all right? Just like so. This, these onions are gonna give your gravy lots of flavor. My goodness, sweet. Just like this, pick up all those beautiful bits from the bottom. All right, I'm going to kind of spread them out here. And then I have two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay? Two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to mix the Maggie. Okay? Like I told you, you can use either one that you want. Let me show you how much of the Maggie I'm going to put in. The Maggie will be used as your flavor for your gravy. I'm going to put that much in, and that's perfect. All right, you might need to put some uh, soy sauce in there if you want to, to make your gravy a little darker. But if you have that perfect taste and you're happy with the color, you don't have to use the soy sauce. All right, two and a half tablespoons cornstarch. A little bit of the Maggie. Let's put some cold water in here. All right, and we just want to mix this up. When you're mixing up a cornstarch slurry, you want to take the time to get all of the cornstarch well incorporated to the cold water. The reason why it turned brown was because of the Maggie, the Maggie Boyan flavor. Watch this. Just put it right on in there. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And pull up those bits that are at the bottom. Pull up all that flavor. This will thicken up and you have one beautiful gravy. Okay? But what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to taste this to see if you're happy with the flavor. And I am going to use some soy sauce. The soy sauce will darken this just a little. Okay? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to put our chicken livers back down into here so they can marry with this beautiful gravy. And we're going to have smothered chicken livers. Oh, yeah. Once this comes up to a boil, it will be nice and thick. Okay, I'm gonna give this a taste and see what I think. Oh, be beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-mm-mm. Woo, that's a good flavor. Okay, so what I'm grabbing now is the soy sauce. Man, that's a good flavor, guys. You hear me? My word. Just for color. Oh yeah, see this right here? This is right up my alley. 
my goodness and you can see that it's starting to thicken up literally right before your own eyes all right now's the time to go ahead on in this one right here i have to eat it i can't mmm <laughs> mmm mmm and you just nestle these bad boys right down into that beautiful sauce or beautiful gravy mmm Oh, that was so tasty. My goodness. Woo, that was good. Mm, mm, mm. Watch this. Hey, listen. <clears throat> I didn't come to play any games today. No games today. I came to show you all how to make chicken livers the right way. Mm, mm, mm. This right here make you smack somebody. You hear me? You're going to smack the nearest person beside you. They're going to say, what was that for? You're going to say because the food is so daggone good. <laughs> Don't smack them too hard, though, guys. Now, turn this on to low. Everything's done. You just want this to kind of marry with that gravy. Put as many of these in as you want. Now, remember, they don't have to cook long. I just happen to like warmed up tomatoes. I love the color. I love the flavor, I love the health benefits, so why not put them in there? If you're not a fan of tomatoes, don't put them in, okay? Eat this over white rice and you are set, bad boy. You hear me? Woo! Mm. This right here, mm, mm, mm. And some, some of you might say, but why aren't you covering the um, chicken livers with the gravy? It's okay. If you want to cover them and smother them, absolutely you can. Just You just go in and you take your spoon and you get that goodness all over. Okay? You can let them cover the top or you can put gravy all over them if you want. However you want to do. Just like this. Look at that. Woo-wee! I'm going to give these tomatoes five minutes in this gravy. And dinner is served. Hey, listen here. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads an awesome recipe. Absolutely. We're going to give this a try. We're going to let it steep in here for maybe five minutes. We're going to come back. We're going to say our blessing. We're going to give this a try. I'm going to let you all know what it tastes like. Okay, everybody, let me show you these. We're going to plate this up and give it a try. Look at this. Nice, thick gravy. Tender, nice and juicy chicken livers. Crispy on the outside. It don't get no better than this. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's go. So I have a pan that I have here. I'm just going to plate it up right there. We're going to pour this right into our pan. Just like so. Get in there. Get down in there. <laughs> and all that beautiful gravy as well. That gravy is flavored so well using that Maggie beef. You got it. Okay, everybody. Sorry about that. My son Dion came in. And he was speaking with me. All right, look at this. Would you all just look? Would you all just look at this? Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. This is what it should look like. Beautiful, nice, thick gravy. And plain white rice on the side is all you need. If you didn't want white, white, bleh, I can't say it. If you didn't want white rice, go ahead and make your baked potato and put this on top of your baked potato or right on the side. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for your love and the roof over our head. Amen. Mm, let's dig in. Get me a little bowl here. I'm ready. But wait, you all that know me, you know that I have to put some parsley on that white rice. I can't do anything without parsley, and I can't do anything without God. There you go. 
All right, let's dig in. All right, let's go ahead and grab some of this white rice. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. My mouth is watering, my goodness. Hooey. Get you some rice, just like so. Get you some of this goodness too. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I love the tomatoes. Look at that, a beautiful. I start to whisper when I get excited. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, make sure you get you some onions and some of this beautiful gravy. This right here, this is how you make it. When you have it the right way, you come back and you let me know just how much you loved it. Let's dig in. First thing I wanna do, I gotta taste the rice with this beautiful gravy. That's the first thing that I want, because I know these chicken livers are hot right now. I'm trying to kind of wait a second so I don't burn the daylights out of my mouth. Give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And the liver, let me cut it. Hold on. Ooh-wee. And that's good. My goodness. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Try to give you all... A taste of everything. So I'm gonna give you some onion and some of that meat. All right, all in one bite. Give this a try and let me know what you think. Nice and crispy on the outside, smothered in gravy. Look at this. Mmm. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You talking about some good eating, guys? Woo, wait, that's good. My. Mm. Mm. As for this tomato, get in my belly. You hear me? Mm -mm -mm. I'm going in. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night.